Trees, they offer a shade on summer days, stunning colors in the fall, and stark beauty of bark against the overcast sky of winter. They are not only pretty to look at, but are also crucial for the existence of life. They produce oxygen and absorb carbon dioxide. They provide us with timber with which we can make infinite number of products, and they provide habitat for wildlife. They are also an integral part of the water cycle and help maintain temperature on Earth. There are roughly 3 trillion trees on Earth currently, which is 30 times more than stars in a Milky Way galaxy. Their debut more than 300 million years ago was a turning point for Earth, transforming its surface and making it possible for the complex life to exist. Yet, despite a deep-rooted dependence on trees, we tend to take them for granted. According to a recent study, humans clear roughly 15.3 billion trees every year, which is 0.5% of the remaining trees, mostly for short-term rewards, despite the long-term risks like wildlife declines, desertification, and climate change. Deforestation has greatly altered the landscapes around the world. About 2000 years ago, 80% of the Western Europe was forested Today, the figure is 34%. In North America, about half of the forests in the eastern part of the continent were cut down from 1600s to 1870s for timber and agriculture. China has lost great expanses of its forests over the past 4000 years and now just over 20% of it is forested. And if we were to continue this rate, in the next 190 years, we would have cleared almost all the trees from our planet. According to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the overwhelming direct cause of deforestation is agriculture. Substance farming is responsible for 48% of the deforestation. Commercial agriculture is responsible for 32%. Lodging is responsible for 14% and fuel wood removal makes up the 5%. Experts do not agree on whether industrial lodging is an important contributor to global deforestation. Some argue that poor people are more likely to clear forests because they have no other alternatives. Others that the poor lack the ability to pay for the materials and labor needed to clear forests. One study found that the population increases due to high fertility rates were a primary driver of the tropical deforestation in only about 8% of the cases. The populational shift that is leading people to move from rural areas to the urban areas is also contributing to deforestation. This urban growth in which 68% of the world's population is expected to live in cities by 2050 to an exponential growth of housing and consumption sites. And as cities become larger so they can host more people, they challenge the natural boundaries surrounding them, often leading to deforestation. The degradation of the forest ecosystems has also been traced to economic incentives that make forest conversion appear more profitable than forest conservation. Developing countries feel that some countries in the developed world, such as the United States of America, cut down their forests centuries ago and benefited economically from this deforestation and that it is hypocritical to deny the developing countries the same opportunities. Another cause of deforestation is climate change. 23% of the tree cover losses results from wildfires and climate change increase their frequency and power. The rising temperatures cause massive wildfires, especially in the boreal forests. One possible effect is a change of the forest composition. Deforestation is ongoing 
and is shaping climate and geography. Deforestation is a contributor to global warming and is often cited as one of the major causes of the enhanced greenhouse effect. Tropical deforestation is responsible for approximately 20% of the world greenhouse gas emissions. According to the Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change, deforestation, mainly in tropical areas, could account for up to one-third of the total anthropogenic carbon dioxide emissions. Reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, in short, red, in developing countries has emerged as a new potential to complement ongoing climate policies. The idea consists in providing financial compensations for the reduction of the greenhouse gas emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. Red can be seen as an alternative to the emissions trading system as in the latter. Polluters must pay for permits for the right to emit certain pollutants. The water cycle is also affected by deforestation. Trees extract groundwater through their roots and release it into the atmosphere. When part of a forest is removed, the trees no longer transpire this water, resulting in a much drier climate. Deforestation reduces the content of water in the soil and groundwater as well, as well as the atmospheric moisture. The drier soil leads to lower water intakes for the trees to extract. It has been estimated that we are losing 137 plant animals and insect species every single day due to the rainforest deforestation which equates to 50,000 species a year on a scale results in decline in biodiversity and on a natural global scale is known to cause this extinction of many species. The removal or destruction of areas of forest cover has resulted in degraded environment with reduced biodiversity. Forests support biodiversity, providing habitat for wildlife. Moreover, forests foster medicinal conservations. Since the tropical rainforests are the most diverse ecosystems on Earth, and about 80% of the known biodiversity could be found in tropical rainforests, removal or destruction of significant areas of forest can result in degraded environment and reduced biodiversity. According to the World Economic Forum, 31% of the emerging disease are linked to deforestation. According to the US Center for Disease Control and Prevention, 75% of the emerging disease in humans come from animals. The rising number of outbreaks is probably linked to habitat and biodiversity loss. So, how do we stop it? How do we stop the deforestation? Well, the more you know about it, the easier it is to make a difference. From understanding the main causes of the deforestation to know what can be done about it. Forests around the world are still being cut down to meet our ever-growing demand for food production and consumption. In the time it takes to say the word deforestation, another chunk of forest the size of a football pitch is destroyed. That's every two seconds and every single day. So plant more trees as much as you can use less paper, support techniques like recycling and reusing, do not burn firewood extensively and spread the word as much as you can. We are all into this together.